Hey there guys, it's time to jam with Jam Time 2000. This is episode 2 of how to build a cruise ship in Minecraft. And in the last episode we did the bow which I'm hovering around now. If you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it before you watch this one. Which is where I explain what I do in the series. But in this video we are going to be working on the stern which is the back of the ship. And now I'm stacking the whole back so that it's 50 blocks away from the end which will give me 50 blocks to do the stern. Okay, so now that I've stacked the hole exactly 50 blocks away, I'm now building the blocks at a angle that I want my stern, which is a 22.5 degree angle, which is two blocks, then one forwards, then two blocks up, one forwards, and after that you'll see me doing the curvature, and after the recording I decided I didn't want this curvature so I went through and changed it but no matter what the curvature is the process is still the same Okay, so like I said, the curvature I had before I thought was a bit too rounded for my liking, so I went and changed it to that. Okay, so what I'm building now is the windows for the main dining room, and how I do that is I just follow the curvature and the angle, and there'll be two decks of dining room, which means two decks of the windows at the back and where I just used black stained glass and followed the curvature and the angle as I went up and you can see I did that decorative angle at the other end of the window as well. Okay, so after deciding the windows were done, I started the next deck, which it goes up at a 45 degree angle, and the superstructure will continue going up from there. And I left that face above the windows because I want to add in a swimming pool there and a hot tub to accompany the lounge that I want to put there. <laughs> I also built in a wall one block back from the uh, top of where the next deck will start and the reason why I'm doing that is that's where the doors are going to be and then I just filled in the deck. I also extended the wall at the back down to the bottom where the grey starts and I just did that by copy and pasting it. Okay so now I've taken care of the bottom part but the bottom part of the stern looks a little bit unfinished so I find it helps to put two slabs um, sticking out at the back to form like a backwash so that water doesn't splash up into the holes I'm gonna cut out later for the mooring station and it just finish it makes that bottom bit look finished
Okay, so now I'm doing the under hole, and the way I do that is I figure out what angle I want, and then I build that angle, and you'll see how for the last two blocks on the bottom it flattens out a little bit, and then I use the same curvature, and I copy and paste it onto the angle, stopping at the edge of the hole, and that line in the middle of the windows was annoying me, so I filled that, and now I'm copying the curvature and watch closely how I do this and it should make sense to you. I also detected a problem with the grey line at the back not lining up with the grey line at the front so I fixed that but you won't see that because it took forever to work out what was wrong and fix it. Okay, so now I'm doing the back under fin of the ship, which is also going to house two stern thrusters, and building the stern thrusters is about the same as what it is for a front, except they're only one block thick on the inside. And I also realised that I forgot to build in the iron bars, but don't forget to do that on your final ship, uh, because all thrusters have mesh too keep fish from getting sucked in and shredded so remember to add that when you do build it and I forgot so I'll go ahead and do it off camera And but you can see I'm just building the inside of it now and then I'm going to put in the propellers for the thrusters and then I'll fill the rest in for the red parts in leaving a one block spine around the to front the stable thing and then I'll do the propellers. Okay, so now I'm building the propellers. This ship is going to be shaft propelled, and so I'm going to have the shaft stick out, and then I'm going to build some supports, because obviously, if you don't have the supports, then the shaft is just going to bend down and break off, probably taking part of the hole with it. And when you do a propeller, don't do a short, stumpy propeller like that. Do a proper propeller, and you can see how I'm doing that. So, and I also add some, and I also make it more than just one block thick. So I added bits at the back to make it look like it's like the blades are folded, which more, looks a lot more propeller-like than just a block on each side of the shaft. 
and I also move the supports back one block so that they're not touching the propeller because that wouldn't be very good so there I am just moving the supports back and then I'm gonna build a thing that accompanies the shaft so like a thing that goes around the shaft like what I'm building now and I also make it come out on an angle just because I decided I want the angle I, I decided I wanted the angle in the other direction so you'll see me change that as well so there we go that's the finished propeller so now that you've got a propeller you need a rudder to steer the ship of course if you're doing a as a pod propulsion system you don't have to worry about this but the way I do it is I just go straight down on that side and then I make the rudder and so that it's mostly flat towards where the propeller is and then it's sort of more curved on the back but watch closely as I build it and you'll see how I do build it and I went with something like that yeah that's what I ended up using and I just fill it with the red blocks and then I put some iron bars around the top of the propeller to, to make that look like the mechanism that turns the rudder not propeller like I said before it's a rudder and the propeller and rudder system is finished okay so now I'm cutting out the holes for the mooring station which are three blocks wide and five blocks apart and on the corners it got a bit difficult so I went to the outside and referenced it from the outside and I also counted to make sure all of them were, were five blocks and I made it go so that it roughly lines up with the end of the dining room windows so I decided to do one more after that and then I added the stairs in like that to make it look a bit fancy because this is a modern cruise ship I know that modern ships use as a pod propelled not shaft propelled but I don't know how to build an as a pod propulsion system so I went with shaft propelled and most carnival ships except for Vista are shaft propelled and then I decided to put some carpets on top so I put them there and I decided to put a carpet in there so I could suspend the carpet but I didn't like that so I replaced that with string and you'll, you can see me now replacing it with string so there we go the string is there and now I'm just putting carpet on the entire layer so that it all looks right and the holes cut out for the mooring station are done I also decided to put a railing on the back deck so now I'm searching for the glass panes and there we go I'm building a railing yeah, my, all my railings are made out of black stained glass panes and with all that the stern is finished I also added some lights as well in the wall but for the most part the stern is done this is just me touching it up a bit and I also moved back there because that's where the, it'll join into the bottom promenade deck and then the deck above will be the lifeboat stations so now that the stern is done I want to wrap up this video by saying thank you very much for watching this has been Jam Time 2000 you guys have been awesome and I'll see you in the next video bye